as Alexander Ocasio-Cortez pitches her Green New Deal, Mitch McConnell comes out and doesn't really support her Green New Deal, but is going to ask Congress to take a vote on it. Let's see how many stupid people in Congress of the Democratic Communist Socialist Party are willing to support this complete disaster of doing away with fossil fuels, airplanes, boats, jet skis, cars, trucks, and you name it. This disaster has already had an effect. And for those of you who don't know, this Looney Tune world of mayhem that's getting ready to take place in the United States under her Green New Deal, let's look at what happened in California yesterday. Man, gotta love this. California to pull plug on billion dollar bullet train sites ballooning costs well duh everybody out there predicted that as well as the rest of the country couldn't tell Jerry Brown and the rest of the communist commie nitwits out there that is they continued to steal taxpayer dollars to a train that goes nowhere California Governor Gavin Newsom announced on Tuesday he is pulling the plug on the state's massive high-speed rail project from Los Angeles to San Francisco that was more than a decade behind and scheduled in billions, billions, billions in the red. I mean... It was such a fraud anyway, but a lot of people made a lot of taxpayer money off of it. What's already been done. I mean, you just have to read the link. I'll provide it below the video. The embattled 77 billion, 77 billion dollar taxpayer funded bullet train has been an embarrassment highlight, underline, embarrassment, embarrassment for the golden state and has been plagued by problems from almost the start. Well, yeah, when you got a bunch of democratic, liberal, communist, socialist trying to run the damn thing, the idea long championed by Newsom's predecessor communist socialist terrorist Jerry Brown who was the former governor of California oh I'm sorry California is years behind schedule with the latest estimate for completion set for 2033 <laughs> oh California voters approved the pricey proposal in 2008 when communist socialist terrorist Barack Hussein Obama entered office. California voters approved the pricey tax-paying taxpayer proposed bullet train proposal in 2008. Just exact time that communist socialist terrorist Barack Hussein Obama entered office. Backers, including several Democratic lawmakers, let's tell it like it is, Democratic, communist, socialist, terrorist, liberal lawmakers, heralded it as an inceptive concept that would connect Californians and transform transit policies down the road. Kind of like Obamacare. Yeah, same shit. Snake oil salesman tactics. What they do is they come in, they sing this line of bullshit, blow smoke up everybody's ass, and try to sell you a fancy bottle with a fancy label telling you it's medicine that'll make all cures. And the naive, ignorant, clueless people buy into it. 
from these snake gypsy snake oil salesmen. Then you buy the bottle only to find out it's really horse piss. Horse piss in a fancy bottle <laughs> with a fancy label. That's your gypsy snake oil salesman of the Democratic Communist Socialist Terrorist Party. They're all the time lying and screwing to you people. I mean, if you're dumb enough to believe these Democratic Communist Socialist dingbats, these gypsy snake oil salesmen, then I guess you deserve to have all your taxpayer money stolen and your taxes raised, because that's exactly what they do. But critics claim the bullet train project was a waste of time and money. This so-called bullet train is a solution in search of a problem that is plagued by billions, billions is in boy, of dollars. Well, let's just back up a minute. You're not telling it like it is. This so-called bullet train is a solution in search of a problem that is plagued by billions of tax-paying dollars. Taxpayer dollars. Taxpayer dollars. Your dollars. You, the businesses out there that had your taxes jacked up and hiked up. You, the workers who are buying stuff that's had taxes attached to it needlessly to fund this communist, socialist, pie-in-the-sky bullshit. Billions of dollars in cost overruns, and I like this part right here. It really gets me. Fiscal mismanagement. Fiscal mismanagement. That means management at the top. San Diego Councilman Mark Kersey told Fox News in 2018, adding that the billions wasted on the project, let's go over that again, billions wasted on the project, billions is boy, could have been invested in our current infrastructure needs, such as water storage, flood control, highways, and bridges. But that is not what the democratic, communist, socialist terrorists had in mind. You know, their agenda is to steal tax money, taxpayer dollars, and hopefully break the state of California and come up with all kinds of lies and excuses as to why they can't get anything else done and your state's falling apart, why they continue to steal taxpayer-funded dollars and raise everybody's taxes, property taxes, sales taxes, all kinds of taxes. And that's what the communist socialist democratic liberal terrorist party is about as soon as you all wake up and figure that out and remove your heads from your ass some supporters over the years argue the project should continue because of millions of dollars had already been spent yeah let's keep dumping money into an engine that's already blown i mean there's holes in the side of the block oil's running out your camshaft's broke. Your crankshaft's broke. Your valves are hitting your pistons, but let's keep pouring money into it and trying to make it go. That's the mentality of the democratic, communist, socialist, terrorist agenda. I don't know, people. You ain't too bright. The audit is so damning... According to the audit, the state risked having to pay back as much as $3.5 billion in federal funds. According to the audit, the state risked having to pay back as much as $3.5 billion as in boy in federal funds. This audit is so damning that it basically says there's no path to completion and has now triggered a federal audit a republican from fresno who pushed for the audit camelia harris nancy pelosi maxine waters and the rest of you democratic commie socialist snake oil salesmen terrorists 
I hope it leads back to you and you get indicted. Every damn one of you. Every damn one of you. All right. Well, let's go look and see what people had to say about it. Comments. Let's read the comments. I'm sad to hear this. It's been fun reading about California wasting taxpayer money, and which taxpayer or federal money, that's where the government gets their money for you young millennial commies out there that think the government gets their money out of thin air. No, it comes from taxpayers, businesses, and you. Been fun reading about California wasting taxpayer money on this brown doggle, meaning Jerry Brown, when he was former governor. For those of you millennial young communist socialists who are not too well educated and have your heads up your ass. It was supposed to be a showcase of big government's ability to get things done. It revealed the exact opposite as many predicted it would. This is a perfect example of the New Green Deal proposed by Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez as well as all her deals. It would throw away millions and end in failure. Well, so much for Ocasio's dream of eliminating air travel and everyone going by bullet train. Best part, she'll still fight for the new Green Deal and believe in it, while projects like this crumble and Venezuela turns into a war zone. Well, nobody said the Democrats were smart. Comment below that, which I like. Too bad there isn't a one-way train to Venezuela, and I'll add, to put all these democratic, communist, socialist, terrorists, snake oil salesmen, on. Comment below her, I'd buy her a first-class ticket in the cargo trailer. <laughs> that shows you what some of the people in California think of this Green New Deal bullshit. Another comment below that article, they should have sent that money on a wall on the southern border. Then it would have been a waste of money. Funny, funny, funny. Even if it was completed, the only people that could afford to ride it would be the rich. And that is true. Who takes trains? Train fares more expensive than flying. And I can attest to that. As I recently, not too long ago, tried to book a Amtrak train for me, my brother, and my father before he died. And it was going to cost to go from the Midwest to the West, down the West Coast, to the West Coast, down the West Coast, and back to the Midwest, a whopping $9,000. On an Amtrak train. Nine thousand dollars. To go from the Midwest. To Seattle. Down the West Coast. To LA. And back to the Midwest. Three or four. Train changes too. Nine thousand dollars. Not including. Not including. Tips. To those on the train. That serve you food. Uh-huh. Another comment below that. Fast track to socialism. We all know that socialism leads to communism, but the commie liberals will not admit to that. Cement pillars to nowhere. Well, of course, Sully the Epic, CNN still mum on the train. Right here, CNN still mum on the train. Well, yeah, you're talking about the Communist News Network with Don Lemon and Jack Tapper or Jake Scrapper or whatever the frick their name is and Anderson Cooper and the rest of the degenerates on CNN, they're not going to admit to failure. That's the 
gypsy snake oil way, the communist, socialist, terrorist way, is never admit to failure. Everything they do is just unicorns and fairies. The money that has been spent on this boondoggle ghost could have easily have funded the barrier on our southern border. Voters. Yeah, I don't know if I'd call them voters or just brain-dead dipshits. Approved its funding in 2008 back when communist, socialist terrorist Barack Hussein Obama got in office. For those that don't remember, have selective memory for $10 billion. Total cost of waste hasn't been calculated yet, but welcome to the make work con jobs by Democrats. We'll stop right there. Democratic, communist, socialist, liberal terrorists via their leaders like Governor Moonbeam Brown, Jerry Brown, former governor of California, let alone the fact that they allowed funding to a cure for this, all the while knowing the cost was incalculable and reaching estimates as high as 100 billion U.S. tax dollars. Once again, the Democratic cronies and their friends cashing in. So what do they do with what's been built so far? Unbelievable. Another comment below that says they knew that five years ago that it was going to be a major cost overrun. But that's how clueless and naive these morons, these Hollywood degenerate movie stars, and directors and producers are out there in California. California, I'm sorry. California rhymes with Madoff scam. For those of you who remember Bernie Madoff and the scam he pulled. I like this one. The bullet train's name was MS-13. Shipped the South Americans up to California and put them to work on the rail at $4 an hour. Yeah, that'll work real well. Another multi-billion dollar liberal failure. Who'd have guessed? Solyndra 2. For those of you who do not know what Solyndra is, let me refresh your memory. Solyndra is the solar panel manufacturing company that got a 50 billion, as in boy, 50 billion dollar taxpayer subsidy, Solyndra Solar Panel Company, 50 billion taxpayer funded Solar panel company under, guess who? Barack Hussein Obama. $50 billion of your tax-paying dollars for this fantasy solar panel company called Solyndra. And guess what happened? You'll never guess. Nope, they didn't produce too many solar panels. They filed for bankruptcy after they got your money under Barack Hussein Obama. Look it up. Not to mention the FBI raided their offices. <laughs> yeah, under Barack Hussein Obama. The communist socialist terrorist. Who was formerly in the White House. That communist Socialist terrorist. That ought to hair lip all you democratic, communist, socialist, liberal terrorists out there that I named your little leader, Barack Hussein Obama. I hope it does. It was borrowed money anyway. Yeah, you know, but borrowed taxpayer money. Stopping the train will not return any funds for water and other infrastructure. Public corruption. Public union corruption. Uh-huh. Nancy Pelosi. Maxine Waters. Jerry Brown. Camilla Harris. And the rest of the...
communist socialist terrorist out there in California that none of you will do anything about. You communist socialist freeloaders out there in California, which is no longer the golden state. It's turned into the shit state. Yes, and we've all seen the comments by the communist socialist freeloading jackasses on blogs and below comment boards. This guy's right. Democrats in California lied to the citizens. They said the state was so rich, so spending money meant nothing. <laughs> well, they're finding out different. All those Hollywood degenerates out there, actresses and actors and producers and directors. Yep. They smoke so much of their own dope they can't even see straight. I like this comment right here. Californians are not the only ones that got screwed. A large portion of this was federal money, and believe me, it's never going to be paid back. If any private person, any private person or private business committed fraud on this level, with the exception of the Clintons and their cronies, of course, they would be looking at a very long federal prison sentence. Think about that for a minute. Yes, I live in California. The Fed should have audited this fiasco a long time ago and sued the crap out of my state. It's embarrassing. Well, they didn't do it a long time ago because you had a communist in the White House, a communist terrorist, Barack Hussein Obama, and his cronies, Loretta Lynch, Camelia Harris, Eric Holder, and then you got all the commies in California and New York, and that's what it's all about, is stealing your tax-paying dollars to bankrupt the United States and every state and every person in it. Though they will deny this and lie, that is their intent. That's how communist socialists work. Look at Venezuela, Cuba. Yeah, prime examples. Of course, these college, universified, communist, socialist liberals at these communist, socialist universities and colleges across the country, you won't convince them of that because they've already been brainwashed. And a majority of them are already on dope. They don't even know it. S-O-T-U stands for, as Mark Dice's video clearly points out. But AOC, Alexandria Ocasio, <laughs> I got another name for that C, but we won't say that here on YouTube. They might get their little communist socialist panties in a knot out there in California at the YouTube headquarters. And we wouldn't want the little commie socialist degenerates out there at Google YouTube getting their little pant communist panties in a knot, would we? <laughs> so full of shit. California will fail. It's a mathematical certainty between their public workers unfunded liabilities, and borrowing a massive scale to take care of all these illegals, it's just a matter of time. Comment below that. This is so true. I live in California. We're going down. The state is a joke. Not in a good or a funny way either. Sorry, Nancy, your high-speed illegal immigration train from L.A. to San Francisco just got shut down. And that's about all I'm going to read. But that gives you a little input or into how the uh, people out in California and the rest of the country around the state of California feel about that illusionary, delusional, high-speed, multi-billion dollar taxpayer-funded bullet train to nowhere 
Good job, Nancy Pelosi and Maxine Waters and Camilla Harris and Jerry Brown and the rest of you Hollywood degenerate actors and actresses and producers and directors that probably voted for this. You are communist, socialist, cockroaches, terrorists, not only to your state, but to the country, and you're showing yourselves. Good luck, Alexandria Ocasio Cortez, Ocasio, whatever your name is. Take your pie in the sky illusions and shove them where the light don't shine. <laughs> You're pathetic. future we can afford it in fact we cannot not afford it So not only dumb and totally ignorant of everything, but utterly self-assured. If there were a clinical exam for self-esteem, she'd be in the 100th percentile. Oh, how do people get like that? Is it our education system? Is it high schools? Is it colleges? We wanted to talk to someone on the front lines of this who might know the answer. Nicholas Giordano is a professor of political science at Suffolk Community College, and he joins us tonight. Professor, thanks very much for coming on. Hi, Tom. So there's a certain recognizable syndrome here where the people who know the least are the most self-confident. Where does that come from? Well, it's the, it's the lack of critical thinking that exists. It's the superficial arguments they make that are completely unrealistic. If you look at the Green New Deal, it's incomprehensible. And when you're looking at it, she says the world's going to end in... 12 years. So if we go with this plan and have to rebuild every building, it took us 13 years just to build the Freedom Tower, for instance. Six years to build the Tappan Zee Bridge. Imagine having <laughs> to do every single building in the United States up to new codes. It's just not going to work. And it's that they, they don't ask deep questions. The arguments are, it sounds good, people will support it because it's government giving us stuff, and, and so it's okay. But there are real consequences when you actually talk like this, because there are people that are going to take it seriously. You have a number of presidential candidates that have agreed with her plan. And when you're looking at the plan itself, you can't understand anything in it. It would lead to millions of people being underemployed or unemployed. Maybe they could learn code. Who knows? It would lead to unconstitutional state violations, because state and local governments are in charge of building codes. And so my question to her would be, 
Has she read the Constitution, knows about the Tenth Amendment and state no, rights? No, 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 but you heard, wait, but I think it's a fundamental misunderstanding. You heard her say what matters is that she's a really good person and you're not. And so I'm thinking as I'm watching this, remember that whole fad where we're supposed to give our kids self-esteem and that was the panacea? Did we create people like this when we did that? Well, we did. Two things. The motto of the customer is always right created an entitlement culture. Yeah. And then our children are precious also created the entitlement culture, uh, culture where everyone gets the trophy. When you're looking at it and you're trying to challenge the minds of the youth, they, they try and push back because... They don't want to critically analyze the information to see if it really works. Page 10 of her New Deal talks about uh, creating public ownership and receiving a percentage of compensation for the public ownership. Well, that's socialism. That's the very definition of socialism. And yeah. nobody's called her out on it in a yeah. sense. And it didn't work out so well for Venezuela. So is it really <laughs> going to work out well for us? No. No. Not, I mean, I don't know. It's been great for, I guess, weight loss in Venezuela. They're starving. They are, eating, but that, eating that, zoo animals, no, and that's part of a problem. It, it's there. There's no critical thinking, and not only do you have that part, you have even more concerning. It talks about persons of the United States. It doesn't say U.S. citizens or U.S. persons, which is the definition of citizen and legal resident. No, you're right. So that raises the question: is anyone, anyone? anyone who shows up gets to take your stuff? I mean, you, well, you can see where this is going, Professor. We're out of time, unfortunately. I. I commend you for having the patience to try and train a more impressive next generation of critical thinkers. Thank you for that. What socialist communist Alexandria Osceo-Cortez and her Green New Deal is proposing is something that looks like this. This high-speed bullet train they tried to build in California that you just got through seeing failed. And it only went from Los Angeles to San Francisco and cost billions and billions of dollars. What we're going to end up with is something more like this in the end. Don't expect Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez or Bernie Sanders, the socialist communist, or any of the other democratic liberals to come out and admit this but when the government runs out of money and the people aren't working because of mass layoffs where are they going to get their money to fund that bullet train and we will end up with shit like this in the United States and this will be your new future progress they call it so let's back up and look at Alexandria Osco Cortez and Bernie Sanders ideas of green energy the Green New Deal doing away with airplanes really well let's lay off all the pilots and stewardesses and mach machinists and all the ground personnel and all the air traffic controllers across the country airline mechanics and all those contractors that help the airlines whether they be baggage handlers flight personnel on the ground all the vendors that help Boeing and Cessna and Beechcraft and Piper and Lockheed yeah we're gonna lay all them off millions and millions of people but they're not working paying taxes because they've been laid off. They're losing their homes living in the streets. So we've got mass layoffs in the airline industry. Mass layoffs in the railroad industry. Mass layoffs in the shipping industry. As far as tugboats moving stuff up and down the Mississippi River and Ohio River. Moving cargo. So those guys are going to be laid off. Those captains of the pilot boats, the, the barges, uh, the tugboats. So all they're going to be laid off. So we got all these masses of people laid off, not contributing to a tax base for the federal government. How are they going to build that high-speed bullet train and all this other crap that Alexandria Osceo Cortez and Bernie Sanders, the communist socialist, just like 
Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is, along with all these other communist Democrats that we're seeing out in California and New York, Maxine Waters, Nancy Pelosi, New York's Bill de Blasio, Chicago Mayor Rahm Emanuel. This is what we're really going to end up with, what you're looking at right here. Do not be fooled by their bullshit. Because if nobody's working and paying taxes, where is the government going to get their money? And this is what we'll end up with. Along with hundreds of millions of migrants from other countries here to prey on us. They aren't going to come out and admit that or tell you that. Because that would ruin their illusion. Their lies. They're not going to come out and admit they're lying. They are nothing but snake oil salesmen. Gypsy snake oil salesmen. Is that what you want? Is this how you want to travel in the future on top of rail cars? Hanging off the side of rail cars as you go down through the, the heat and the cold and the blizzards out west? Hanging off the side of a rail car? Because that's your only means of transportation? They are trying to ruin the United States, these Democrats. That are supporting the communist socialist agenda worked real well in venezuela ain't worked real well in cuba people are trying to flee cuba to get to the united states people are trying to flee venezuela and those south american socialist communist countries i mean it's not rocket science people why would we want to go backwards she wants to do away with airplanes and fossil fuel cars and trucks and Railroads and boats and jet skis and motorcycles. and I mean, really? Yeah, I'm sure Honda and Yamaha are going to appreciate that. As well as Boeing, Cessna, Beechcraft, Piper, Lockheed, and all the other aircraft manufacturers and vendors that s- supply those parts for those airplanes when their employees are laid off. Because we can't use fossil fuel anymore according to Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Bernie Sanders and their whole communist, socialist, terrorist, terrorist bunch. Think about it. Is this what you want? Is this how you want over 25 million passengers traveling trains across the country? Uh, This how you want to have to, according to statistics, accidents on this rail system resulted in more than 25,000 deaths every year. Really? Is this how you want your future for your, yourselves and your children and their children and generations to come because you were naive, ignorant, and stupid enough to vote these democratic, communist, socialist morons in office? Share this video. Share it. Put it on Twitter. Put it on Facebook. I don't care what social media venue you put it on. But share it. Show your family. Show your teachers. Show other school kids. College kids. Co-workers. Ask them if this is what they really want. Because this is where it's headed. You already seen California has already went bankrupt. I mean... I don't know where they're getting these morons and who's voting these idiots to be in office, but they need to be thrown out. And that Alexandria Osceo Cortez, I don't know what college university she went to. I think it was Boston College, Boston University. I'd have to look it back up. I don't remember off the top. But that's not saying very much for their colleges and universities across this country. If this is what they're teaching your kids in these universities and colleges that this is acceptable, this is this pie in the sky Green New Deal, <laughs> boy, they're in for a rude awakening. Thank you for watching. This is Senator Elvis. Thank you. Thank you very much.